You may have seen when you select a vector, a green marker or a green circle. This basically denotes the start point, so where the vector starts. And it's also going to be the start point of where you start machining if you machine that vector. Now you may have also seen a red marker and that means an end point. Now, if you've just got, let's say a line that you want to machine like so, and you select it, you'll see at the start, you've got a green marker at the end, you've got a red marker. Now, what does that mean for machining? So normally for machining, let's say you wanted to do an area clearance that needs a closed vector to machine. So you wouldn't be able to machine this because it needs a closed vector to actually go inside or outside it. So let's take a look at these two squares. One of them has a problem. So if I select the left hand one and let's zoom in on the start point, you can see it's absolutely fine. I've got no problems with that. If I tried to do an area clearance on that or a pocket, it would be fine. Now let's take a look at the other one. Now the other one's got a problem. So the other one straight away, I know that that's got a problem because I can see a red circle there. And that means that it's showing the end point. So obviously this isn't a closed shape. So I won't be able to do an area clearance on it. So if I were to try to do it, I'll just add any tools. Let's say a quarter inch and calculate. You can see it gives you this error. And so no tool path was created for the current tool. That's because this is an open vector. It's not a closed vector. So if I zoom in, you'll be able to see the start and the end point. Now, if you want to close this up really quick, just go to close with a line and then you'll be able to calculate the toolpath. So that's a quick way of spotting any problems. If you're using a toolpath that needs a closed vector and on that vector, you see a red dot or a red circle, it's not going to work because the vectors open.